top five places to eat lunch in downtown Summerlin. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm her sidekick, Damian Barton. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And most importantly, if you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas or the Summerlin area, you can reach out to me at 702-370-5112. All right, let's get started. So Summerlin is a beautiful and vibrant community in Las Vegas. If you're looking for a great place to eat lunch, you won't be disappointed getting away from the strip to some of the top rated restaurants in downtown Summerlin. So whether you're a local or just visiting, Summerlin has awesome places to eat. And so we thought because we love to eat, mm, yes, we love we do. food and we did our breakfast video not too long ago, the top five places to have breakfast in Summerlin, we're like, well, what about lunch? Yeah. You know, we're always on the go showing houses to clients in Summerlin. So a person's got to eat, right? <laughs> Many times a day. <laughs> so what we wanted to do is create the top five places to have lunch in downtown Summerlin. All right. There are tons of other places in downtown Summerlin and Summerlin alone, but we thought it'd be easier all in one place, downtown Summerlin. We love the vibe. We love the feel of downtown Summerlin. So here we go. Yes. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. So number one on our list is the California Pizza Kitchen. And this is located at 10945 Oval Park Drive in downtown Summerlin. And this is your go-to destination for creative dining with a California vibe, of course, from signature hand-tossed pizzas and high-quality main plates to inventive, better-for-you options as well, and handcrafted beverages. So let's cheer for high-quality ingredients at the California Pizza Kitchen. And I like California Pizza Kitchen. And the reason it was our number one was because of the assortment of food they have. They have all kinds of food, not just pizza, not just salads, you name it, they have it there, okay? Um, so that's why it was one of our number one. And, and number two, why it was our number one was the lunch specials that they have there. Mm, they so have affordable. the take two duo where it costs maybe like $11 and you get a salad, half salad and half sandwich or a pizza and a salad. So you can mix and match the combo. And if you're looking to have a nice lunch and affordable, then CBK's for you. Mm -hmm. Try and get there a little early though, because we notice that when we do go there around lunchtime, it does get pretty busy. Uh, they're usually a line, even though the place is huge. Yes. So just a fair warning, if you're super hungry, timing is everything. Yes, either after two or right when they open. Do you remember what you had the last time we went there? Yeah, um, I always get the usually the same thing. They had changed it up a bit. I usually used to get the Southwest um, chopped salad mm. with the um, half chicken or half California Club Turkey. However, they don't have that salad anymore, so I had to try the, uh, what was it, the barbecue chicken, original barbecue chicken chopped salad, and it wasn't as good mm -hmm. as a Southwest chop because I don't like barbecue on my chicken, but next time if I do order it, I just make sure that I don't get chicken on it. <laughs> yeah, or I can eat it off too. Yeah. <laughs> so I know what I got. I got the, the spicy Chipotle chicken pizza, mm -hmm. and then I kind of wanted to balance it out a little bit, so I also got a Caesar salad with it, and so uh, that was very filling, and uh, yeah, like you said, for $11, it's hard to beat. Yeah, and I like when you come in, they'll give you some fresh bread with olive oil and vinegar and uh, mm. dip it in the bread, and Mine. So the service <laughs> is pretty good as well. Even though they're super busy all the time, their service is very well. Yeah, and I noticed they had like... Uh, uh, some type of droid moving around the, you know, moving around oh, delivering yeah. items to people. So yeah. they had some kind of automated system in there too. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. What's the swirl R2 coming to? I know, huh? <laughs> and lastly, with the California Pizza Kitchen, they make the hours of operation very, very easy to remember. It's daily from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, that's that's easy. Next, we're going to head over to True Food Kitchen, located at 10970 Rosemary Park Drive. Um, and True Food Kitchen is the only restaurant fundamentally based on science, which ensures all of its craveable dishes and drinks work to increase the longevity of our people and planet. 
Um, now, the funny story about True Food Kitchen was we went in there and um, it was like springtime mm-hmm. and it was still kind of a little chilly out. So we wanted to eat inside and they told us we had to wait. So we wait and we waited. We're like, I'm tired of waiting. So I told the lady up front that we want to go outside because it seemed like people were just coming in and going straight out. <laughs> and I'm like... I want to go out there. So we went out there. But then when we went out there, what did we do? We waited and waited. Um, But the management team, this one lady, Mm -hmm. the main lady, I guess, she noticed us. And thankfully, she realized the error. And um, we didn't say anything. We didn't even say anything. We didn't complain. Maybe they thought because I was like doing my video, they thought maybe we were food critics or something. (laughs) (laughs) And she uh, gave us a free, it was the hummus, um, herb hummus with vegetables. Oh, oh my so god. Good. It was so good. All the vegetables. Delicious. I'm like, okay, sure. Even though all that era, the food was phenomenal. What did you have? I had the Mediterranean chicken sandwich and I had the uh, sweet potato hash with it. And I thought that was a really good combination. It felt I felt really healthy and it, it was felt very balanced meal. So how about you? What did you eat? I had the OG grass fed burger with the sweet potato hash as well. And that was very, very good. And I'm not a burger person. I usually do not order burgers when I go out to eat. But this one sounded very interesting, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, I actually had to steal a bite of that one. It, when it came, I was like, whoa, you have to share that. It, yeah. it was amazing. It was very good. And their hours of operation are Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Third on our list is Public School 702. And this one is located at 1850 Festival Plaza Drive. Now, Public School is a chef-driven gastropub serving exclusive craft beers and delivers an education in the art of food and beer. They use only the freshest quality ingredients and they like to source as many ingredients as they can from local farmer's markets. Now, I had the banh mi and brown bag fries, but Angela, what did you have? I had the crispy fish tacos with the roasted peanut coleslaw, Mm. and it was absolutely delicious. It kind of like was a um, big piece of fried cod and a taco. Mm. Um, Now, the interesting thing with Public School 702 is that even though they advertise it like it's for school and school's out, happy hour, blah, 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 uh, or recess, you'd think that they would have more lunch school type food yeah you know we were commenting more like burgers but this is chicken very fingers bougie dog, this yeah. is a very bougie uh food menu that's the best word to describe it. yes <laughs> that's it that's what it is it's a very unique and elaborate food menu menu but it was very good mm-hmm. um they don't they don't have your traditional school food and that's what i thought they would have right right like I was almost half expecting to get my uh, my little ice cream with the strawberry swirl in it, you know, and I put it off the top and use my my wooden spoon to eat it. Yeah, but it was pretty good. That's why it was number three on our list. Yeah, definitely you should try it if you you know if you have the opportunity. Now the hours of operation is from Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then on Friday and Saturday they're open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. and then on Sunday they open from 11 o'clock to 10 p.m. Lots of different hours. Yes, they're all <laughs> over the place on that, but that's okay. I figure 11 to 10 on average. Yeah. And number four on our list is Wolfgang Puck's Player's Locker, located at 10955 Oval Park Drive. And Wolfgang Puck's is the ultimate sports restaurant that combines the world-renowned culinary prowess of Wolfgang Puck with the iconic energy of Alex Tuck, William Carlson, Derek Engeland, Riley Smith and Shea Theodore of the city's professional hockey team, the Vegas Golden Knights. This family-friendly community restaurant presents a lively atmosphere complete with panoramic flat screen TVs and floor to ceiling display of more than 100 custom glass lockers program. It is the restaurant where you can enjoy some of the best bar food in Las Vegas and spot some of the favorite nights off the ice. So with that said, what did you have? So I had the roasted chicken enchiladas, and then it came with a salsa fresca, like a cream, and then there was like this melted cheese and cilantro mix that came all together Mm. with it. And then on the side, um, of course, I wanted to try their seasoned french fries because, you know, that's just like a staple for me. I have to eat those. (laughs) And that, that was the best part of the meal, I would have to say. Yeah, I had the blended mahi fish tacos Mm -hmm. with avocado, chipotle cream, and citrus cabbage slaw. 
So I just realized there's a theme that I had tacos. 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 I always thought, what's this big deal about Taco Tuesday? Why is everyone taco, taco, taco? I like tacos. <laughs> Must be a favorite food. <laughs> yes, it's it's pretty good. And and uh, fish on tacos, you never you would think it was a funny combination, but it was actually pretty good. Um, I would have to say with with this one, I really liked how basic the menu was. Right. But the the spices and the flavoring was on point. So um, at first, I was like, "Why is this? This doesn't. It's not wowing me. These are like totally normal everyday foods." But then when you taste it. They really do have a great flavor profile here. So I just wanted to share that with you. I was impressed with that part. Yeah, of it. I mean, when we go to these types of places and we look at the menu and it's very unique, you know, it's mm-hmm. like um, unusual food options that you haven't heard of. But the combinations that they blend together makes it incredible dishes. Yeah, in this case, for, for real. Yeah. So their hours of operation are Monday through Thursday from 3 to 9 p.m. Friday, 1130 to 9 Saturday, 10 a.m. to 9, and Sunday, 11 to 9. So that's kind of all over the board. They just need to keep it simple like CPK. One hour mm-hmm. or one time frame. Yeah, I mean, they're in downtown <laughs> Summerlin together, so it's not like their their hours have to, you know, are, are regulated too much because CPK can get away with it. That's right next door. Exactly. They're hurting themselves. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Now, last on our list, number five, is Lazy Dogs Restaurant and Bar, located at 1725 Festival Plaza. And this Southern California restaurant has become a neighborhood culinary destination, providing memorable food and a small town hospitality to each and every guest. Each ingredient they use is carefully picked and prepared. They make every meal by hand each day, including all of their sauces, marinades, and dressings, and they even have a dog menu. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I had the Thai chicken salad, um, and I did not like it one bit because I specifically told the gentleman that I did not want mint on my salad because mint on a salad to me just does not go. And of course, I got mint on my salad. Now, we've had this before in the past and other items, but this time around for this video, this is what I had. So that's why it still made the list because they do have good food. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to mention, though, that because I told the gentleman, our server, I said, hey, this has mint. I specifically asked for no mint, and he apologized. He wanted me to give a new, um, he wanted to give me a fresh salad. I said, you know, we didn't really complain. We just, the only complaint that I did was saying, hey, it came with mint. I asked for no mint. And then they offered us, what, free dessert? Yeah, they did. Yeah, and mm-hmm. that was like, was it the apple? It was the what apple. What was it? Would we have? The, it was the apple huckleberry uh, open face yes. thing or whatever. It's the apple huckleberry open face pie with two scoops of uh. vanilla. It comes with one scoop, but he likes to hog up the ice cream. So I had to get two scoops so I can have some ice cream too. <laughs> it, it, uh, there was nothing left on that plate actually. Yeah. In fact, I was I would be surprised if they just put it on the shelf thinking it was clean. Yeah. It was that good. And what did you have? So I actually had the pot roast uh, beef dip. And I actually was not impressed. I wasn't impressed. It was it, the flavor was great, right. but there just there wasn't enough meat on it. It was like, like, almost all bread, like eighty percent, ninety percent bread, and then like ten percent meat. And that was kind of disappointing, because I really wanted to have you know a nice even meal there. But uh, but besides that, the flavor was really good. And um, and then we of course the dessert. The dessert came out right after that. Right. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, all of these places, you're going to find something you're not going to like. You know, um, obviously the last time we were at Lazy Dog, we had, I can't remember what we had, but we really liked it. And that's why we're like, oh, we need to put this on our top five places to have lunch in Summerlin because we had such a pleasurable time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, obviously it can't be 100% every time, but it's worth checking out for sure, right? Yes, exactly. I'm just sharing our experience. I mean, the, don't get me wrong. I mean, everything on my plate was gone. Right. Well, but we were taught to eat all or everything off of our plate. Yeah, there we were. <laughs> and it's very easy for us to do, by the way. Yes. So we like food, like we said. Yeah. And the hours of operation for Lazy Dog is Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to midnight, Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to midnight. Yeah, good good hours. Yeah, I can't believe they stay open that late, so that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And I, we did see animals in there, by the way. I thought that was really... I don't think they can come in the actual restaurant, but they have like a little um, outside seating area. Yep, and that's where they were sitting. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. where people can bring their dogs for the dog menu that they do have to offer. 
Any final thoughts? Yeah, I think there's no shortage of food options to eat lunch in Summerlin. Not only downtown Summerlin, but throughout the entire Summerlin Master Plan community. Again, the reason we selected this was because it was easier. We're always showing houses in Summerlin West uh, and the new construction sites. So we thought since downtown Summerlin is a central location, uh, but where we live uh, in Summerlin North area, there's a lot of great places to eat. Mm -hmm. And if there are any places that you would like to mention that we didn't mention that is in, a, that is in downtown Summerlin, you know, leave a comment down below. I was a little disappointed. There was this one place that I super, really, really, really liked was the, the DKO, DT, the MCO, or, MC, yeah, MTO yeah. or MKO yeah. or mm -hmm. whatever. Oh my God. That was so good, but it they was. got rid of it. Um, but we love food and I hope that you enjoy this video and learn about what Summerlin has to offer for those of us that live here or those of us that want to visit. Yeah, we do. We love it here. Yes. Anyway, guys, the most important thing is like and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn everything and anything about the Summerlin Master Plan community. I am your Summerlin expert and I live and breathe and eat, Summerlin. apparently. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you on the next one.